Hi guys, welcome to my site. My name is Kieran Finn. Um, I'll try and keep this fairly short, but the topic of this conversation is um, how to utilize uh, social media sites um, and networks for business purposes. And um, I'm doing this from the comfort of my home. It's a really humid day here in Perth, so um, it's good to sort of be in a relaxed environment. And um, I, I guess a lot of us are online um, in business pursuits so that we don't have to worry about um, finding traffic and working nine to five and getting stuck in offices. But um, that, that said, um, a lot of us who are in online businesses um, are looking more and more at the social media networks um, as a way to get traction and, and, and build connections and to utilize it as a way to introduce, um, as I said, these loose connections to what we're about and also to participate in, um, I guess, seeing what other people are doing too. There is, um, there has been a bit of debate um, in recent years as to whether social media um, such as Facebook and Twitter and so forth should even be used at all for, for business purposes. Um, there's almost that snobbery that if someone's a Facebook connection, how dare you, uh, how dare they uh, pitch their business to you. But, you know, and maybe I felt that way a little bit myself at, at some point, but it, it's pretty naive. Um, people do as they will and as they want to do. And uh, if you choose to be part of these wider and wider networks, well, there is a reciprocal sort of um, deal going on there where um, you communicate to these people. And depending on how you communicate to them, um, they will either embrace or not embrace your message. So the way I look at it is with social media, um, the objective, I guess, is is to be found. All social media um, networks are essentially search engines, and, and they operate quite differently. You've got Google, which we're all familiar with. You key in a word, and, and you'll get a, a billion search results. And um, if you're lucky enough to get on page one or page two, uh, well, good luck. Um, you're going to have heaps of traffic to your business. But if you're on page 97, um, forget about it. So it is quite hard, unless you're willing to pay a truckload of money um, to figure out the SEO of all that, um, you know, to do that well with Google. So you've got YouTube such as this. YouTube's a bit different in the sense that you can personalize it, um, you can have a link to your websites, and you, you might get people's attention for three or four minutes as opposed to 10 seconds. Uh, Twitter, um, it's not that hard to build, you know, thousands of connections on Twitter. But I look at Twitter as being almost um, a bunch of people with, um, you know, uh, attention deficit disorder, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but people jump onto Twitter, bang, 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 look at a few messages, and you're very lucky if someone's going to click through on anything. Um, but it is, a, it is a form of broadcasting, and if you're willing, you know, if you learn how to do it, um, you can really get your message in front of a lot of people. But getting the clicks, which is what it's all about, is, is where the difficulty is with that. Um, Facebook, personally I use Facebook just for social, but I hardly do any business on Facebook at all. Um, Facebook, you, you, it's a slow burn. Um, people will tr get to trust you after a while if maybe 90% of your postings are social and 10% business. And after a while, um, people will start clicking through on some of your business stuff. But um, I think very quickly people will start hiding you and um, cutting you off if you, if you start uh, you know, really pushing the Facebook thing too hard. Um, Blogs obviously are a form of funnel. It's not so much social networking, but I think the idea of having a blog to generate, you know, to build traffic is that you get your traffic from different sources and you try to get people to click onto your blog where once they get to your blog, then hopefully you can start engaging and developing a relationship. But in conclusion, I guess the, the goal of any form of social media marketing is to get people to opt into your list or your autoresponder. That way you've got permission to contact them in a drip drip over a period of time. Um, you can send out one message a week for a year maybe, a um, short message with a link, and people don't feel overwhelmed. Um, if your message is too long, people are gonna, they're gonna lose interest very quickly and you've only got one shot at it. So, um, in my opinion, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, um, are great ways of sourcing traffic. Um, you've got to do it in a consistent manner and I think you've probably got to use more than one forum um, if you want it to work for you. But anyway, give it a go, click through, I've got a link below just to show you how this whole thing works and uh, I wish you well in your endeavours. Cheers.